Hello everyone, welcome to fourth video of syllogism. Uh, now we'll learn that how to join statements which are no. Okay, so first case is when we have two statements of kind no, no plus no. Here no A is B, no B is C. So this can be written in three ways using Venn diagram. Uh, the conclusion if you see from A to C is no A is C. Here some A are C. And last one all A are C. So as we have seen in two previous cases, whenever all the possibilities are there, we cannot do logically any conclusion. So the conclusion will be no conclusion. That means no conclusion is possible. Let's look at the second case when we have no plus all. Now this is an interesting one. So uh, let's not go into the, the details which I mentioned here. Let's look at the Venn diagram first. Okay. So if I see, uh, if we see, let's say no A is B, then all B are C. No A is B, all B are C, and here again. What is relationship from A to C? No A is C. Some A are C. Some no, all A are C. So if you see, as we have seen in this case, there is no possibility of drawing conclusion from A to C. So from A to C we cannot draw any conclusion. And we are looking for conclusion if anything is possible. So now let's look at these statements. Okay. So I have all B R C. As we have learned in the first video, we can write it as sum C R B. Similarly, we have first statement as no A is B. If I reverse it, I'll write no B is A. The common term is B here. So this is sum plus no. And the previous video we have seen sum plus no is sum not. So the conclusion will be sum C R not A. So from A to C there is no uh, conclusion possible but from C to A we have conclusion as sum C R not A. Now if you are looking at the Venn diagram, now look at the shaded region which is B. So A, uh, no A is B so I can write no B is A. So no B is A and B is part of C. That means some part of C is not A which is the conclusion. Now let's look at the third one. Uh, this is quite similar to the second case. Okay, so this won't take much time. No plus sum is again if I reverse no A is B, I can write it as no B is A. Some B or C can be written as some uh, C or B. B is common. So we get some C or not A. If you are looking at the Venn diagram, look at the shaded region. This part which is common between B and C okay and B is not A so any of the part which belongs to B is not part of A so shaded region doesn't belong to A shaded region doesn't belong to A shaded region doesn't belong to A and the shaded region is part of C so some part of C doesn't belong to A some C are not A so we have seen how to draw conclusion from all statements some statements and no statements now the last one fourth uh, one is sum not as I mentioned in the first video that with sum not statement we cannot draw any conclusion individually or as well as adding two statements. So these are the nine rules which we will use to solve the question. Thank you.